Oh dear God. No, 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 no. Oh God. No, no. Oh shit, that's pretty cheap. All right, no, no, yeah, yeah. No, it's cool, we're cool. We good? Red Links, we, we good, we good, South Park, we good. Finally, actually, Red Links, you finally add some kind of battle pass into the game. You know, every single other game now has a battle pass. It's about time, come on. It's actually really happy about this one. At first, I was freaking out. I did not want a battle pass. I personally don't like battle passes. I had one in PUBG. It was the worst. I had one in Call of Duty. It was the worst. I got one in Rocket League. I didn't like it. Freaking my Apex Legends Battle Pass sucked ass. So now we get to look at this one. Battle Passes, I think right now for this one at this cheap price of a thousand uh, South Park dollars is actually pretty good. I've already got $2,200 and I haven't spent a single dime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through this Battle Pass and see if it's a yay. Or a night. Things I'm going to be looking out for is can you get a return in your cash? If you spend a thousand cash on this, right? Can we get that return if we get to the final tier of the battle pass? That's very important. A lot of games like Fortnite does this, where they actually have a battle pass, you initially have to pay for it. However, you can get the credits back if you get to the top tier. So you never have to pay for another battle pass ever again. And that is smart. That is good marketing. I like it. I do wonder if they've done it here. Honestly, looking at this right now, briefly, they have not. No. You got like 100 cash right there. You've got another 50 right here at tier 19. And then at tier 4, you got another 50. So, you get like a 20% return in your cash if you complete. Not even like all the way though. Like if you get to like tier, what is it, 50? you will get a 20% return. That's not great. I'm not going to lie. That's not great. However, there is multiple ways to get your uh, your cash back. If you're free to play, you do get cash rewards here, actually. So I completely forgot about these. Yo, you get 250 free cash there. So you actually get 450 cash if you invest. It's like almost half your cash back. They're really good with the whole cash system. I really hope they don't nerf the cash system. If they do start nerfing the cash system, there's going to be a problem here. But the price for the bar pass is pretty goddamn good. If you don't want to buy it, you have the free pass. When this comes to the game, you either don't buy it and get free stuff, or you buy it and get even more stuff that aren't free but it's cool if you go through here it shows you how the whole battle pass works now how do you progress within the tiers of the battle pass is it going to be long and painful or is it going to be nice and juicy well mm, it does depend so if you're actually low ranking in the pvp which honestly is pay to win right now then you don't get as many points towards your tier once you get a battle pass so you get points if you get a battle pass every single day your first battle pass will give you some, I don't know what that is, some stones with stars on it, you get that. Getting high enough in the rankings means your first two battle passes actually give you these rewards instead. They give you like these tokens here. So yeah, you get a lot more tokens the higher you are on the rankings. This does help sort out the whole deranking system right now. There is a deranking problem where people purposely derank to get more rewards. This might stop that from happening. Apparently sometimes you can get some in the challenges as well. You'll get it in Team Wars too. It's pretty goddamn good. There's lots of ways to get it. If you play the game often, you will get a lot of points towards the tiers. You don't even have to like grind hours and end. It literally is get one pack a day. So you know what? Pretty good. I wish I was sponsored for this. <laughs> I wish I was paid to like say it was really good. They don't have to pay me. It's really good. Right now, as you can see, yo, no way. So the first pack you get from the pay pack is actually going to be a guaranteed legendary. By the way, we're going to buy this straight away. Yes. Already, a thousand cash in this game is such good value for a random legendary. That is unbelievably good value. That's probably the best value I've ever seen in this game ever. That's ridiculous. And that's only the first tier. We've also got all these other gifts we can potentially get as well. That's huge. Please be Satan. It was Man Bear Pig. Yo, it's a level two Man Bear Pig now. That makes me happy. However, we're kind of like running in a uh, non-tanky large kind of meta right now. I think tiny is strong, large is wrong. But you bet your sweet bottom dollar ass, I'm going to get some more tears here. This one is 60 days long. So I wonder how many points I can get 
in my PvP pack. Right now, I have a PvP pack ready to open. I want to see how many points I get. This is my score right now, my ranking. It is pretty good. Yes, you can say that to me. By the way, yes, they have changed the ranking system. We'll go into that soon. First, let's open up our PvP pack here and see what we get. There's so much new stuff, by the way. I'm very excited to see the new stuff. We got horseshoes for the event that's going on currently for a new card, by the way. And we'll see where it'll pop. There's some ball caps and there's our battle tokens. You get 62 battle tokens. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Good question. I have no idea. It says right here, you need 100 for each tier. So, technically, we can't get the max tier by doing this. So to get the max tier by just doing like PvP packs, we gotta get like 100 tokens every single day, right? To get there. We've already missed out on two days as well. So right now, it's, it's kind of looking like, uh, we're not getting enough here, but there is other ways to get it, right? There's team wars and there's challenges as well. So if we do those two, maybe we'll get enough. I'm hoping we do. And before we move on from the battle pass as well, I want to just keep on like, you know, gushing over this. This is really exciting. This is actually really cool. So right now we got some epics here. Right away we got Classy as an epic. Honestly, don't rate her highly as a card, but hey, it's an epic, all right? So you get everything here, you know, tier three, there's coins. Tier four, there's cash. Tier six, PvP tickets. And tier seven, freaking 25, Mr. Mackies. That's all the counseling you'll ever need in your lifetime. And then over here, tier five. Oh my, seven epics. You get a chance, a guaranteed chance to have seven epics and nothing but seven epics. That's huge, by the way. That's freaking, that's, that's amazingly big. You get more classy over here. Classy right now, honestly, is a filler in this battle pass. And it's not actually a bad filler. Over here at tier 27, you get nine rares, you get two epics, and then there's a 10% chance for a legendary. And what's more, there's 36 cards in here. That's pretty goddamn good. Red Lynx is like dishing out the rewards here. You can't complain. This is amazing. Over here, by the way, there's 71% chance to get a legendary here. So I actually think the way they've done it is they've already calculated like, you know, the chances of you getting a legendary from the whole pack itself, right? You have 84 cards here. You have the guaranteed epics and rares. They've already calculated the chance of you getting a legendary within that pack. So I think the pack itself has a 71% chance to get a legendary. Maybe. Because otherwise, that's too strong. God damn, I wish I was sponsored for this battle pass deal. Because <laughs> I'm selling it. It's good. Get it. Buy it. If you have the cash and you play this game a lot, get it. What are you doing? Go get it. And I'm pretty sure, like any of the battle pass, you can get it at any time. You don't have to get it right now. You can proceed along the tiers and still get it later and still claim all those rewards. Now we're gonna move on to all the other things in this update. What the hell have they done to my rankings here? It's completely changed. I've complained to no end about the rankings. And it's changed. It's finally been changed. It's changed. No more will I be stuck in this hell where I can't get out. And all these assholes of high level cards are beating me down into the dirt. No more. It's a good day for South Park Foot Destroyer. So instead of like a ranking here, we actually have like a skill rating here instead. So Arena 1, Arena 2, each are categorized within the arena. So we actually get a reward for each new arena. Luckily, I've proceeded along a lot of arenas so far. So we actually get a lot of rewards. So we're going to go through them right now. Arena 3 reward is going to be some kind of card pack with some cards in it. The first one I got was actually not bad. I think I got some epics from that one actually. So that was pretty goddamn huge. We get a lot of stuff, but so far, a lot of stuff. A lot of like materials, a lot of cards too. Freaking epics, I'm happy about that. It's classy, not happy about that. I don't rate classy highly. Get her out of my game or buff her up, either way. Here we have the stage four clear as well. So let's see what we've got going on here. The arena four. So we get a lot of cash already, man. We're probably making up our cash <laughs> that we just spent here. Yo, two awesomos is great. You could say it's awesome. Alien drones suck. You can see the pattern here. You know, the higher up we go, the, the higher up the arena, the more rewards we get. We're getting like a lot more rewards now. A lot rarer materials are coming our way. We get more cash, more epics. 
Hopefully. All right, one more epic here. I'll take its tally. Looking for those dog poos, though. I want some level four epics, man. I have yet to get a level four epic. They're very, like, uh, spread out right now, my epics. I would love to have just, like, a big stockpile of dog poos on the way, you know? Dog poo is a very average card. Honestly, it's, it's, it's average in every single way. And that's why I like it, okay? It's good for any situation. It's average. It doesn't shine out there, but it does his job, you know? Hookhand Clyde is not that kind of guy. Hookhand Clyde shines and then also completely just covers you in despair. Sometimes he'll hit the unit you want, sometimes he won't. And that's when the despair comes into play here. Banty Hunter Cal, great epic. By the way, I'm loving this whole like opening up car packs for no reason and getting epics and rewards. <laughs> this is a good day. Arena 6, I think it is, and we're getting like 150 cash. So far, it's really- I'm gonna speed through these, because we got a lot to talk about. Um, there's some epics here. Hermes Kenny. It's okay. Mr. Slave, I think, needs a buff. Look at this. I'm gonna speed along as well. Epics. Dog poo! Five dog poos! Yes! <laughs> this is what we want! Three Marcus! Ew! Gross! Ugh! Oh, you suck! Ugh! Oh, ugh! Marcus is not bad, by the way. I'm- I'm doing a joke. It's a joke. I don't- I, no, you know what? No, I don't like Marcus. I don't like, you know what? It's not a joke. I take back the claim that it was a joke. What other epics do we get? Because honestly, that's what I'm looking for. Epics and potentially, by the way, legendaries. We might get a legendary one of these packs, maybe. I'm hoping, maybe. Rogue token tally on bad cards and we get some more. And then finally, we come to this area here. This arena right here. It's arena 10. Apparently, we have yet to get over the 5,300 mark for the skill rating. And then we have... Even more after this. So there's something to chase here. We actually want to chase these rewards here. We want to chase these ranks here. Because the rewards you get are pretty goddamn juicy. They're pretty goddamn good. So that was a big update that came out. That was huge. There's so much good stuff happening there. But right here we have Shelly. We can go ahead and open up Shelly's little presents over here. And hopefully we'll get Shelly. Shelly is a new card. She's an epic. I'm not really going to go into her. Um, phrasing. Apparently she's like a little bit average. You know, I would thought like if Shetty came to the game, she would strike fear in the enemy's eyes. <laughs> However, that is not the case. And they've gone back in what they used to do. So originally they were like, hey, guaranteed epic if you get to the last freaking uh, part of the event. Now it's just a chance for the new card. Kind of disappointed in that one, honestly. That's a little bit greedy. They should be doing guaranteed chance to get at least one of these cards if you get to the very end. To have a chance for a new card at the very end is kind of like, meh. And unfortunately, I can't showcase this card off. I know Red Lynx has been giving out these new cards to other uh, South Park YouTubers for some reason. They don't like me very much. Uh, they did email me like months ago about, you know, being one of those people who were testing out their new cars as they come out, but they have been ignoring me ever since. I don't know if I'm legally allowed to say anything because I did sign a contract, but uh, I think they got my, my balls in a vice pretty much. <laughs> they got my balls in, the, in a vice, so I can't talk about any new stuff coming out. So anything that's been leaked, I can't talk about. At the same time, they ain't give me any permissions or any kind of like uh, benefits to this contract. So honestly, they have my balls in a, in a vice and uh, it sucks. I'm not going to lie. Even now, I'm a little bit cautious about talking about it because maybe I shouldn't talk about it. But, you know, if, if anyone at Red Links is, is hearing me out here, you know, it would be mighty nice for you to like, you know, loosen that, that vice, please, because it's starting to hurt. So as you can imagine, you know, me, me and Red Lynx right now, the people of South Park Phone Destroyer, we got a weird, like, love-hate relationship going on. You know, they've done some things where I'm like, wow, that's kind of like, why would you do that to me? <laughs> it kind of feel somewhere along the line, I must have pissed them off. I do speak my mind quite clearly. If I think uh, a deal's been made on South Park Phone Destroyer, I will, I will voice it. If I think something's shitty on South Park Phone Destroyer, I will voice it. And I guess somewhere along the line, I guess they didn't like that I voiced something. That I can only assume. I don't want to like, you know, besmirch their name. At the same time, 
My balls are in their vice and it hurts. Moving on, I'm going to upgrade Dog Poo over here. We want level 4 Dog Poo. This is going to be our squad uh, Team Wars deck over here. I'm going to try my best to get a video out on this one, but it might not happen. Last time, it didn't go too well. Really, fingers crossed I can beat, you know, my total big score of one point. I'm sure I can get more than one point this week. Hopefully. This time around, I'm going to have some better cards for myself personally. Who knows, man? Honestly, who who freaking knows this right? Yo, man, that pig's actually this one this time around. So, like, you know what? There is a small chance. So, what have I covered in this video today? We got Battle Pass. It's good. We got new ranking system. It's good so far, as, as, as far as I can see. We've got my balls in a vice because of Red Links. Not so good. We got number four, new card, Shelly. We can't test it out because... Of number three, the the balls in the vice thing. But it's okay. Anyways, this is me signing out. I don't know how much longer I can do South Park. Honestly, I would love to do more South Park, but um because of my relationship right now with Red Links, it's kind of becoming harder and harder to keep on doing it. Most of my views for South Park comes from like new things and new events, and if I don't get like a heads up or like if I don't get like the clearing that every other YouTuber gets. I'm put at a major disadvantage compared to other YouTubers, so I can't really compete with them. And therefore, it's kind of like, well, what's the point? Why am I doing this? Why am I trying to, like, you know, get views from this series when I know there's no chance in hell I can I can do that? But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit like me talking a lot and not really doing much. You might be bored from this video, but in the next one, we'll have some more action. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you another time. Ba 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 